And the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. Okay, listen to this, y'all. NFL, ex-NFL star Brandon Marshall posts video of a heated argument with him and some security guards who called the cops on him after, as he was moving into his new home in Florida in a gated community. <laughs> Brandon Marshall posted a video that purportedly shows him being stopped by police and security as he attempted to move into his new gated community. A man who appeared to be a guard toward Marshall, I'm just doing my job. Police said a call was made, but the incident did not even re warrant a report. Marshall repeatedly questioned why the guard called the police. See, this is the problem. <laughs> right away, you called the police on them. Marshall responded to the incident on Instagram afterward, saying he was upset because it happened in front of his children. He didn't even hesitate. Um, he didn't accuse either, I'm sorry, security guard or law enforcement of, of beating him up or getting physical with him. But the fact of the matter is, is the first day in his at my house, because it's in my name and my name is not on the list, you call the cops? You couldn't do anything first besides call the police on me? Uh, Marshall is seen arguing in this video uh, with a white man with a, a black suit who appears to be a security guard. At one point, Marshall points the camera at a masked police officer who waved in the direction but wasn't standing close to the six-time pro bowler. Anyway, this guy's been out of the NFL since 2018. Um, if they would have recognized him, of course, they would have known that he was one of the get good Negroes. Um, he just said, there was no threat for you to call the cops. This is what we're seeing every single freaking day. This is what we're seeing. I got two kids in the car right now. There was no need for anyone to call the cops. This is a situation that could have been rectified with a little bit more diligence, a little bit more research, a little more, more calling maybe the property manager. The Broward Sheriff's County um, office told news that the deputies were called on August 17th, but the incident didn't even warrant a police report. The incident was resolved on the scene between the two parties. Marshall responded to the Instagram uh, to the incident on Instagram, saying he was upset because it happened in front of his children. There was no question of him. Right away, you go to the police. It's real, he wrote in the caption. I was so disappointed in myself, but for getting so emotional with my kids in the car. But then I realized that being numb isn't an option anymore. Marshall did not accuse either security guard or the law enforcement of getting physical with him. But the fact that the police were called automatically right away. Oh, my God. It said this guy made over, what, $80 million in the NFL? And he has to deal with this type of shit? However, on Instagram, he did plead with his followers to help him take action by voting this November. I've been watching and, and processing the same injustice and rust as you all have over the last few months, Marshall said. We have been experiencing this pain our entire life. The awareness and conversation being started by protests are great, but it can't end there. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of marching where it leads to nowhere. I'm calling on powerful networks to take a chance and showcase the most important message in our country right now. The path towards real change flows through the ballot box. The power belongs in the hands of the people. I am not telling you who to vote and who not to vote for. I'm reminding you that you can vote. It is your right to vote and have your chance. You should be telling them who to vote for. I would do that. <laughs> Never mind. A former Central Florida standout who has attended high school in Lake Howell, Florida. He's a, a Florida native. He earned over $80 million again over his 13 professional seasons playing with Denver Broncos, Miami Dolphins, Chicago Bears, and the New York Jets. 
Marshall made appearances for the New York Giants, Seattle Seahawks, and the New Orleans Saints. Um, in 2011, he announced that he suffered borderline personality disorder and has since worked to spread awareness of the condition. Wow. Hmm. Well, I'm glad it ended well. I'm glad it did not end in shooting or death for you, brother. That's a good thing. And I'm glad that the police used a little common sense, a little restraint. Being that he's a Florida native, one of them probably noticed him. But I just want to commend the officers for not allowing it to escalate, even though he was upset about the situation, which most black people are very just a little bit high strong because we're really just damn sick of it. We just done with it. And just the fact that we done with it is going to cause them to say, oh, you're aggressive, huh? You're aggressive. You know, like they always do, you know. So I just commend all the players involved for not letting this escalate beyond control. Mm hmm. No, 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 ma'am. That's not what I said. What I said is white people are definitely suffering some type of collective delusional insanity to not even recognize that black people are on defense. Anytime you're getting mad and meaning white population and carrying out uh, hits on black people for black people wanting to defend themselves from murder and murderous white supremacists is absolutely insane. What it is is there's a bully culture. That's why nobody in their right mind would take anything that Caucasian Americans say truthful. Because if you really want to know the truth, what I said unhypocritically and I stand by, ma'am, was this. White people are always going around and evaluating other populace. They're always going around and evaluating other people's psychic and saying what's wrong with them. Somebody needs to evaluate the European because he is clearly psychotic. He's clearly thinking in some kind of way that is so irrational and so, so delusional and narcissistic. And his whole behavior and platform stands on gaslighting. So when you're dealing with a people like this, we have no choice, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, is to put ourselves in the position of the rabbit. And I said, it's no fun when the rabbit got the gun. That's what I said. Because there are a whole bunch of people, and I mean a bunch of them, that feel that because athletes make millions of dollars and they make a certain amount of money, that it enables them to just forget about the racism, forget about the uh, assassination of innocent black people, forget about that these are their relatives to forget about that they're plucked out of these neighborhoods and because they can dribble a basketball does not sever the heart string between, between them and their community. And anybody that does that and has that feeling is artificial. It has been manufactured by white society in general. White society saying to other societies, well, you cannot be our friend unless you totally abandon your community. Unless you decide, I don't want you, um, I mean, if you want to take these millions of dollars from us, we want you to restrain yourself further and further away from your community. Come on. It happens every day because their game is divide and conquer. And that's what they have done for 400 years and, and plus divide and conquer. So no, with all due respect to you, 
if you're going to quote me. And I appreciate y'all calling me for this uh, time of the interview. But if you want to quote me, the least thing you could do is co quote me correctly. That That's right. And that's right. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. And you have a fantastic day as well. All right. Bye-bye. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get a load of that.